Fit like a bee, Danny Men here, and welcome back to another episode of Train Life. We are hanging out just outside Dresden, Maine. Uh, we have not radioed the station to tell people we are coming in for platforms, but we're uh, coming in to pick people up, and they will give us a platform, but we'll do that right now. So we are about to begin our first passenger route, so three services. I want to do three passenger boarding, the little dwarf signals in front have lit up like a Christmas tree and apparently we are good to go. Does the main here, we are waiting for you, go to the station and proceed to the intended track. Now, I'm just gonna go slow here because I've no idea which track I'm supposed to be on, but apparently they're all lit up, so apparently I can go into any of them. So that's pretty magical. I would imagine I don't want to go left because left takes me to yeah I'm gonna go right yeah yeah it's basically saying that hey you can you can literally go anywhere you want uh, so that's gonna be nice because there were V's in front of every single one of them uh, I'm just gonna go down to this station here now I possibly should have maybe reversed in uh, before picking up passengers but that's something we're gonna have to do, is we are gonna have to pick up passengers and then go over here to reverse the train. Uh, because this is not double-ended. Uh, I suppose maybe you could have it as double-ended. Uh, let's bleed off the speed. I don't know how far into the station we actually have to be. There's apparently, I'm gonna check something before I go into that warehouse to spin us around. Uh, let's add the brake. Can I turn up here? No, because this, is, this is literally goes to nowhere. Uh, which is great. <laughs> this is the dead end up ahead. Right, so. I think there maybe is going to be something at the end here. Uh, it looks like it can continue on. Right, so let's bang on our brake let's take those brakes off let's push what is it v for passenger boarding train must be inside a boarding area uh where is a boarding area there my friend i thought we were i thought we were in one right those of you who watch the the colonel will know that he had the same issue. Uh, so what I'm going to do is we're going to leave the station. Yeah, it, it literally highlighted every single track uh, for me to go into. Uh, let's just pull up the map for a second. So there's my route planner, Dresden, Maine, produces 53. Uh, company, I want my train. No contract it's available. Th there should be select destination stations. So I want Dresden, Maine. Why is Dresden, Maine not that right? Clear all stations, right? So Dresden, Maine. Yes. Dresden, Maine. Leipzig, Maine. Nuremberg. Yes. And then I want to go oh, down to Munchen. And then auto-remove stations. Apply to GPS. Confirm. Uh, come out of there. Okay, let's stop again. So S, D, E, even E, E, E. Okay, so it looks like my highlighted station is over at that side. Okay, let's go. Or, wait, can I just pick people up here. No. Secure train with brake first. Oh, that's maybe a good sign. Train must be inside Born area. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Yeah, so that's something we need. We definitely need uh, platform numbers and things that we should, we should definitely be able to go into. I'm not sure how far down this is going to take me. Am I going to just run clean off the edge of the tracks? Don't know. Uh, I am tempted to turn around though, but this has not been a magical start. I am going to turn, yeah, it's like, 
it's like hey it doesn't matter which way you go you're going to be going the wrong way yeah so i need to get into that part whoa what was that that was scary hopefully i have enough room down here to turn around obviously i don't want to leave the station but we need to be on that one over there okay so yeah, the, the stations definitely need to be highlighted better. That would be nice. Okay, so again, we don't want to leave the station, so... Let's get rid of the power. Let's add a bit of brake. Where does this even go? I wish I could turn around here. That would be nice. Nah, it's just a, it's just a dead end. Right, come out with the train. Right, so it looks like I'm good to go. Uh, let's go back into the train. Brakes are on. Maybe a bit more brake. And then we are going to have to reverse this sucker. Right, so bring that off. Get us into reverse. Let's go, let's go outside so I can see where it is I'm actually going. Now, Q to go left. Is it? It says left is the right one. I do not want to see those wagons turning on to the right. That's what that would go straight on. And then we will be blindly following the AI signaling here. When it tells me to move to a junction, We'll be good to go. I'm hot on that Q button to change anything we need. Right, so we need to go right, apparently. So I think it's right because we want to miss this junction, uh, this junction here, just on the left-hand side. And then we're going to go left again. Yeah, left. Now, my boarding area is still lit up, so I'm quite happy that that's still a thing. Uh, can I even get over to that side on here? Hopefully. I will be super upset if I cannot. I think I was supposed to go down this one on the left-hand side. It's incredibly difficult to see, but we might still be okay. Alright, go left again. Yes. Is there another left? If there is another left, that would be truly awesome. There is another left. Right, we're actually on the right track. That's pretty sweet. Now we're going to have to go backwards and get this thing out of here. I think I may have a plan for that, though. Alright, so let's bleed off the speed. Let's add a touch of brake. Let's add a bit more break. Let's add a bit more break. Let's add a bit more break. Right. So, uh, handbrake on, brake off, push V, opening doors, system will remain blocked. That's fine. Boarding passengers, that's fine as well. And next stop should be Leipzig. Right. So, Take that off. Let's get going. Boarding operation in progress. You must wait until boarded. I think we're done boarding their game. Or are we? V. Closing doors. That's a good point. I forgot about that. Right, let's go. Time is money. Right, so go to our map. Right, so what I think I can do is literally back up all the way out this way. And then go around there. That is the plan. That is what we are going to do. Now, I want to go to my company and my train. So, yeah, Nuremberg, Munich, Leipzig. It's all good. It's all good. All good. All right, let's go. Let's add a bit of speed. Now, again, I need to stay in this view so I can sort of see where I'm going. I do not want to turn left. I want to turn on to the right. Now, that's going to tell me it's the wrong way, but it's just until we get past this junction. So instead of driving out and then driving back to the warehouse to turn around, we're just going to reverse out onto the tracks. Uh, there's no AI 
because the AI got removed in the patch just shortly after release. Uh, but we're going to be good, I think. A uh, wee bit of lag there. Is it, it's not frame rate or optimization. It just seems as they're coming out of the station. It seems to be a bit, a, a bit laggy. Right, so we are going to turn right, and then we're going to turn right. And then we're going to turn right again. Uh, we're almost at speed. This must be terrifying if you were a passenger. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Not that. That. Yeah, we're <laughs> barreling through these junctions. A hell of a rate of knots. That's okay. Right, so we have now exited Dresden. Very nice. Uh, so I want to go all the way around here, basically almost back up to the warehouse until I pass a junction of which I am happy that I can then continue on my merry way. And I'm sure that the sat-nav will correct itself in order to attain this. Maybe. Ah, yeah, 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 see it did. <laughs> now obviously I need to clear, I need to get out of this block of track and get onto the other one. Uh, let's just bring off the speed. Let's add a touch of brake. I'm pretty sure she's going to stop and we should be ready to go. There you go, see, that was a nifty idea. Bit more brake. Let's get that up to 50%. 50% breakage there. Right, emergency brake on, brakes off, back into the cab, base forward, reverser, we now want to go forward and we want to go right. Excellent, let's go. Right, we are now on our, our merry way. Which is awesome. Now, I don't know if we'll get this entire route done today. That even that little stint there, just trying to find the right platform, was uh, was difficult enough. <laughs> it did not tell me where to board passengers until I'd already gotten into the station, and every single platform was highlighted with a red V, so it was extremely confusing. Right, I'm pretty sure everyone is going to be upset because we are going to be driving so slow. But I'm sure we'll get them a Leipzig or Leipzig, Leipzig main in time it's weird that the, the stations have names like main so i wonder if there's going to be like outline stations like rural stations or like a like a sort of berlin north or south or something or east or west that would be kind of cool are we up to 120 yet we are right let's go spin those wheels let's get moving it's a passenger train so you know, speed is the key. I suppose speed is the key with freight as well, but it's obviously the train is so overloaded that it just can't attain the speed. Oh wait, is that a deer? Get off track. Oh, it's just a, it's just a bit of tree. Ah, okay. That was scary. Oh, watch out, animal near tracks. Right, now there really is a deer on the track. Or near the track. It should be fine though. If it's near the track, you're normally okay. If it's on the track, then you need to be, you need to be ready. You need to be prepared. I'd like as well, maybe down the left-hand side, some sort of distance counter that tells you how far away you are from your next destination. But suppose having it be a bit of a mystery is still kind of fun as well. All right, let's get us. I think a hundred. We'll be fine at a hundred. Let's add a bit more power. Get us going until there's any hills coming up. And then we obviously need to be prepared to radio the station and let them know we are coming in. Right, the deer is there. Come on, move, buddy. You no longer have access to Dresden Main. Well, that is perfect because that is not where I want to be. Uh, right. I'll maybe check the map at some point, but we're just really leaving Dresden, so I wouldn't. Mean, I wouldn't imagine we're anywhere near close to Leipzig. But that's what I was saying. It's, it, I was getting something, what was it, 30 grand to drop off passengers at uh, Leipzig Main. And it's basically the next station along. <laughs> ah, so this is just a passing track. We passed this passing track on the way in. 
So I think we're good. We still have to get to like where the bear, the Berlin section was. Maybe annihilating these junctions at 100 kilometers per hour is probably not a massively great idea, but I think we'll be fine. Our little STGG or Stig 6 or whatever it is, he can handle it. He's good. I mean, the last episode, my plans were absolutely shattered because I wanted to buy the 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 next one up from this, the, the 9, and then it magically went up in price. <laughs> so they must have added, they must have realized that people were uh, getting trained super quickly. That's some of the problems in some games is if you unlock everything really easily, uh, then the playability of it sort of dies. You sort of get the best stuff. And then you're like, oh, well, uh, I've already got all the best stuff. There's not really much more for me to do. Right, we're approaching 100 zone at the next the next set of lights. But we're holding fine at 105. Don't know where the next set of lights are. The daylight is fast approaching. Uh, this, is a, this is a nice view. It's a bit crazy. Oh, render distance was a bit strange there. Oh, I am supposed to be turning left here. Oh, yeah, yeah, slow down, slow down. Did not want to be going through those junctions at like 100 miles per hour, uh, 100 kilometers per hour. There's our train, though. Glistening in the sunset. Right, we're going to take a look at the map. Yeah, we've still got a while to go. I do want to bypass the Dresden Steel Mill. There's absolutely no point for me to be going through there. So let's attempt not to go through there. And we'll just keep our eyes, eyes front. And we will, because the sat-nav is taking me past Dresden Smeltery or Steel Mill or whatever it is, uh, the sat-nav or the, the junction nav at the bottom should keep us on the right track for bypassing it. Right, we lost a ton of speed there. Let's get going again. Uh, 50 was a good number. Uh, we are going uphill slightly. We are about to be going downhill slightly, but we're going to be hitting 120 as we bypass this industry, which is nice. Down the hill we go. So it's sort of past this, whatever it is. What are you? You are a steel mill. Okay. If you're not sure what an industry is and you're close to it, just pull up the radio and it'll tell you. So we're going to bypass you, or we are actually going to bypass you at 120, because this section of track is fairly easy going. There is a hill coming up as well. I don't want to slow down at all for that. Fuel's looking good. I would imagine that we've got, ooh, floating, floating catenary or something there. This section's a bit roller coastery, but that's okay. 110, that's weird. There's a deer there, but if it stays on its own track, that's fine. Let's just bump it up to 100. Give the passengers what they want. Uh, so we're saving content there as we're going past the Dresden steel mill. So from now on, if I make a mistake, I know I can reload it from there. Uh, when does this go down to 110? I'm going to take the speed off as I go down this bit. Because this corner looks quite sharp. We're out of the corner now, though. Extended wheel slot there. Uh, it wants me to swap over to the right. Do I want to swap over to the right? I'm at the... I'm well, literally at the mercy of the game here. <laughs> which is always fun. The term blind leading the blind comes to mind. That's nice. It's not often we look out the side. Probably should more often. However, curiosity killed the cat. Probably not paying attention to where you're driving, especially in a train or in any vehicle. <laughs> it's probably a bad thing. Uh, next speed limit change is 80. Are we going down? 80. We're literally at 80 just now. There's a hell of a corner coming up. This is a beast corner. 
Yeah, don't want to be hitting this at high speed. Uh, next speed limit is 80 kilometers per hour. Yes, is it at this signal? It literally is. We are going below 80, so we're just fine. Fine for the moment. This is weird. It feels like the train is literally, it feels like it's tilting to the side. So that's pretty cool. Uh, Q, go to the left, because that's where it wants us to go. I would imagine that we are possibly beside Leipzig, Maine. Uh, so we need to keep an eye out for that. Right, this hill is going to bleed off my excessive speed. I'm going to move back over to the left, apparently. And we're back up to 120. Get those wheels spinning. Get us back up. Uh, I will check the map once I get to the top of this hill, or once I, once I see that there's an upcoming uh, junction or split in the tracks, then we'll know that we are going into Leipzig Main. Right, so let's speed it up. It has told me that in 400 feet there is a left turn coming up. Or it might just be a diamond. I think it is a diamond. It is. We're good. I think it could possibly be the set of signals or the next junction where we're possibly turning off. Hopefully we don't have any issues with the dropping people off. Hopefully the designated station that we need is clearly visible so we can get in, drop everyone off and then head back out. Push A. So I am near Leipzig Main. Right, so one, uh, three services and two station access right we'll do station access first and see if, if that does anything and then we'll go three passenger boarding we are Leipzig main here we are waiting for you go to the station and proceed to the indicated track so maybe with a bit more prior ooh, there was some weird glitching going on there uh, that's a game thing because we're still holding 120 frames uh, this PC has no, this rig has no issues blasting this game out to 120 frames per second in 2K. Uh, 4K, it's absolutely fine when you're in the cab. Once you're outside the cab, it's it's a different story. Right, I think I'm going to cut my speed here. We have asked for permission to enter the station. However, we are going to be hitting a maze of platforms. as well that we need to deal with is this the station in front of us oh god oh god i think i need to turn left i'm sure i turn left off there's the main yeah so it's the same as dresden the the warehouse is literally across from the station we will be turning left there was a speed limit change down to 80 there and luckily we were already bleeding off speed anyway because i completely did not notice that that was a thing I mean, we should be pretty good. Uh, let's check the my train. Yeah, we've got one hour and eight minutes to get these guys in. And we've got 17 hours, Jesus. I don't think it takes 17 hours to uh, commute the length of Germany in real life. Or it might do, because the train from Aberdeen to Penzance takes about nearly a day. <laughs> right, so it's telling us to change track here. Now, you're telling me to change track. Are you guiding me to the platform that I need to be on? Oh, my God. What just happened there? So, I it was, this happened to me before. So, it was on, selected to go right. But it didn't go right. Right, slow down. Oh, dear God, slow down. Slow down. Slow down. Get ready on that Q key. I think we're good. I think we're... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we're good. Q. I can't see the arrow. I'm slightly worried. I think we're still good though. 
Yeah, this is why trains come into the stations at mega slow speeds. <laughs> we actually managed to get onto the right platform. Holy crap. Well, I am, I am literally astonished. But uh, note to self, slow down when you're navigating these junctions coming into the station. There was a real touch and go moment there when I was like, holy Jesus. Uh, again, Leipzig is another station that I cannot get out of, if you know what I mean. When I say get out of, I mean I have to reverse out. Right, we should be in a boarding area now. Yeah, I'm going to have to reverse out again. Possibly have the main line. Right, that on breaks off. V, opening doors. Let's see if we actually got money. Departing passengers, we did get money. That's very nice. Uh, boarding passengers, nice. And then V again to close doors. And then we can head back out. Right, so V, closing doors. System will remain blocked. Yada, yada, yada. Uh, F off W, outside right now what 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 <gasps> r for the first not f idiot right break off let's go right so i want to literally come back <gasps> the way i came so i want to continue on the right hand side continuously I suppose my guy should literally be facing the other way, but this is fine. <laughs> so, successful Leipzig main passenger depart, uh, depart and boarding. Yeah, see, I had 120 frames in this area, we're down to about 84, but the lowest I've seen it go was down to 71, so that's not that bad at all. Now where's the actual place for swapping the train around? So it's way over there. We could just go in there. Uh, but because I am fully aware that there are no trains going to be on this main line, I'm going to keep reversing out this way. I'm just going to keep going all the way to the right till I get back onto the main line. And then we are going to zip along on our merry way. Now if you were a passenger here, this would kind of suck. <laughs> This would not be a nice experience for you. Right, so we're leaving the stick. Oh, look at that. There's an actual plane up there. Oh, that's cool. I, I did not even see... Uh, it totally reminds me of a, a transport fever ride along. See the plane? You see the trails there. Ah, it's pretty cool that that is an actual detailed thing. It's probably just part of the skybox there's another one up there okay you're getting distracted with planes planes are not important you need to push over the left there train because i want to be on this line now uh, let's bleed the speed off let's add a touch of brake let's add a touch more brake and a bit more a bit more up to the good old 50%, 60%. There we go. Handbrake on, reverser off, brakes off, handbrake off, W. Let's go. We are back in action. Remember to change the junction onto that right hand side, or you won't be able to go to where you need to go. Duly noted. Let's go. So yeah, the turning around is, well, it's not really realistic. I mean, I, I doubt you would back a train up as far as I just did onto a main line. Unless there was somebody at the back of the train with like a radio or you'd been cleared by some sort of authority to do so. Because the track is clear, etc. But yeah, what I did was pretty, pretty rough. So yeah, maybe doing something like decoupling the coaches, moving the train around the station back to the front of the train. If you're at a terminus station like that and you're uh, using a local like this, 
that'd be kind of cool. And I would, it'd be interesting as well if you could do things like have two of these. So have two of these little STG G I G six or whatever the hell it's called. If you had two of them, it would be cool if you could place one at the front of the consist and one at the back. And then when you get to the station, there you go. You're you're basically good to go. You just switch instead of this switch here, flipping you around to face that way. It literally flipped you to the cabin at the other side. That would be really cool if that was uh, implemented. I mean, uh, the train, the unused loco doesn't have to be powered or anything. It doesn't have to be advanced in that sort of way. The way like American freight trains sometimes have four, five, three, two, six locos at the front of it and three at the back and they're all sort of powered from the main locomotive at the front. It doesn't have to be as advanced as that. You could have it just be dead weight but it would still be cool to kind of have. There are lots of things they can do with this game and I'm, I'm really looking forward to seeing what they are going to make of it. I mean, the, I can't remember, is it Ancorn? Is that the name of the company? They've made some decent games before, so this one should be no different. What is that again? Previous radio station. We don't need radio stations. Yeah, let's just... Can I switch that off? Radio power on. Off. Just keep clicking that until the volume goes down. <laughs> Uh, right, pay attention to where you are actually going. Uh, is that a deer in front of the tracks? No. Right, where are we going? Let's have a look at the map. So we're coming around here, and then we are heading down to Nuremberg. Now I think once we get to Nuremberg power plant, I'll maybe end the episode there, and we'll do the other half of the passenger route. Seems like a good idea. Uh, so escape. Let's go. Uh, seventy-three miles, turn seventy-three kilometers per hour. Uh, let's boot at right up to one hundred at least. You no longer have access to Leipzig Main. Well, that is totally fine because I no longer need their assistance. Huh? Okay, that's fine. The music. I've turned it down sufficiently. Uh, there was an animal on or near the track. I totally missed that. We we're turning left though, so maybe it's over to the right. We are going uphill, so I am going to add a fair shunt of power to get up this hill. Oh Jesus. That's a lot of hill. 90. 100. We don't want wheel slip going up the hill. We need all the, all the grunt we can sort of get. The problem is you, you often you often fire up the, the the local because you know that you're coming to hill and then the other side you get this which is a downhill and then the train speeds up rapidly <laughs> but that is a okay now I'm assuming we're gonna be fine and that even though with my crazy reversing onto the tracks maneuver that I'm still gonna have time to deliver my passengers uh, it looks like there's a 60 mile, 60 kilometers per hour section coming up. It wants me to switch over to the right. I am slightly dis disconcerned that it wants me to do that. I'm going to bleed off the power because I have no idea where this, uh, where this change of speed is. It's not here. As th I think it could possibly be at the bottom of this hill. Now it is good that it alerts you that you need to slow down before reaching certain corners and things because if you're going too fast you'll rip the train clean off tracks. But I think you need maybe a bit more advanced warning and uh, some sort of sign to say hey there is a couple of sections of cornering coming up that are pretty wild. Like you do when you're driving a car you often in the UK we have a sign it sort of looks like an N or an S, upside down S, whatever you want to call it. And that is to tell you that for the next uh, uh, for the next couple of miles or mile or whatever, 
that you are going to be hitting these sort of S bends constantly, and some of them are steeper than others. Now, where are you taking me, train? Because I do not want to go into Leipzig Forest, right? We are sticking to the right. That is fine. Yeah, because the forest is on the left. It's because the map is upside down and it confuses me greatly. The thing is, I will eventually get used to the map being upside down. And I'll be able to figure out that left is left and right is right. However, uh, <laughs> what will probably happen is, by the time I figure out what everything is, they will change it. Uh, so next signal is down a 60 speed limit. That seems weird because we're bypassing the station. Those all seem like things for in the station. Yeah, yeah, we're up to 120. Okay, let's go. Let's punch it. Saving content. Please do not exit the game. I have no intention of doing so. I haven't had any crashes. However... The only real major thing that I've seen is that when we were coming into Leipzig Station there, there was a... it told me to swap the train over to the right-hand side. Now, we were already set to go on the right-hand side, and there was a junction that looks like it's... the track is there as sort of placeholder, but it's not actual track. Uh, because there was a junction there, we should have slipped onto the right-hand side, but instead we stayed on the left and just sort of bypassed that section of track. Now that happened to me before in a certain place just before the start of the last episode. It confused me greatly. I tried it three or four times and I've completely forgotten where it is. I wasn't actually recording at the time, which is a shame because I could have reported it as a bug and if you do see bugs, you should always report them. It just gives the devs the time to fix things that they maybe don't know exist, or they maybe do exist and they're working on it. But yeah, feedback, that's what early access is all about, feedback. Uh, so we're up to 100 miles per hour. I've not been into the Discord yet. Apparently they're pretty good in the Discord. Uh, they're very informative and they do apparently take on what people are saying, so that's always good. Uh, when devs are like that obviously they're not going to change every single aspect of the game just to keep people happy uh, for example uh, well that's a lot of work and us as players do not always see eye eye when it comes to certain aspects of games so we can't keep everyone happy so there has to be some sort of moral ground or sticking point where it's like, this is the physics and the mechanics of the game, and we're not going to be devoid of this, but we can still do quality of life changes or make things slightly better or get a few bugs fixed here and there. So this is a 70 speed limit. And I would imagine it's because these corners are quite wild. Uh, I'm going over a bridge. Let's have scenic over a bridge shot. There we go. There we go, very nice, very nice. The scenery is wonderful, I, I will say that, it's, it's pretty good. In 4K it's even more spectacular. Where are we going now? 120. Okay, so the speed limit has gone up, but looks like we are going uphill, so I want to crank the speed up as much as possible. We're going over another bridge. This is a nice section of track. I like it. I like this area. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's good. It's good. I like it. Now, obviously, there are areas of Germany that are quite mountainous. As you're heading, like, sort of, like, the Swiss Alps and stuff like that. Uh, do I need to head left here, game? Yes. Apparently, yes. You've not led me astray today yet. Apart from that incident at Dresden Station, uh, where you told me that every platform was mine and I could go to any one, and then when I got to the platform, you were like, no. And kind of screwed me over. <laughs> I might pass the power station yet. Nah, 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 nah. We don't want to go through the power plant either. I want to bypass it. Uh, so, let's. We're almost there. We'll end the episode once we get past the 
the power station. Those are birds, by the way. Those things up there. Uh, they're gone now. They're kind of creepy. They sort of creeped me out. I thought it was like a really weird cloud glitch normally the first time. But it turns out they're birds. Right, so we are heading down. Speed is 120. We are definitely going to have enough fuel to get to Munich. Yes, Munich. Right, this is going to be a lot of downhill. Now this is going to tell me to head, oh yeah, 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 slow down, power off, whoa, 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 and we're down to 100, okay, I had to touch a break, <laughs> nah, break off, we're okay, right, I don't want to go through the power plant, so whatever you're telling me, game, I'm not going, we do the opposite of what the game tells us, now, if there was another train on the tracks, and the AI was implemented, the AI trains, then yes, maybe adhering of what the track is saying. See, there's a bridge there. Is that for cars? Maybe. Yeah, yeah, I want to stick to the left. I don't want to go through the power station. That seems kind of stupid. And I would imagine I'm going to get a faster speed limit. Yeah, I'm going to get 120 going down here, so that's totally fine. Yeah. What was that? What was that? There was like a weird broken down tree on the tracks. Did it warn me about that? I was too busy looking at the the power plant over there and rejoicing the fact that this is a 120 section. <laughs> down the hill we go, up the hill we go, bypassing. What is this? Nuremberg power plant. How far from Nuremberg are we? Yeah, we're still a ways. So that is fine. Right, let's come out here. Uh, did I get my save for passing the power plant? Don't know. No idea. Uh, because what I can do is bypass the power plant, end the episode, and then I know that I can reload from, there we go, saving content. So you literally have to be right next to it to get it. Awesome. But we shall leave it there for that episode. As always, if you did watch this and you would like to leave a like, comment, or dislike, please feel free to do so. Uh, but in the next episode, we will continue the journey down to Munich. And then we'll we'll try a bit of freight again. Uh, we'll see if we can actually buy another train. We do have a fair chunk of change going on now, so we should be we should be getting there. I need to also see if I if I've leveled up on anything. Uh, that's something I've not checked. It's something I need to do. But yeah, we'll continue this journey on in the next episode. We'll continue the the end of this route, and it'll be all good. But that's been it for me. I've been Danny Min. This has been Train Life. And I will catch you later.